It's your girl Julie and we are back at it again with another video today Vante isn't in the video but he is behind the scenes helping me film this right now so today I am going to be doing a what's in my hospital bag and diaper bag for when you're going into labor so I teamed up with another company it's baby Lux follow them on Instagram and I'll tag them down below she actually made me these beautiful diaper bag, hospital bag, um, document holder, so many items that she blessed me with that we got to use for Gianna. Um, and I am truly grateful. I'll go over each and every single one of the items. I'll go over where you can find them, what they're called. I have a code for you guys to save money. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, before I get into this video more, I just wanted to go over the items that she sent me. So basically, she sent me one, two, three, four, five, six items. So the company is called Baby Lux Company on Instagram. I'll tag them in the description box. I will put their Instagram, everything like that. So I just wanted to go over the items that they sent me, and then I'll go over everything that I put in it for the hospital bag. So we have the document holder right here. We have the travel bag the hosp um travel bag slash hospital bag we have the diaper bag and then we have three little tote organizers which have come in handy so much so first off with the name everything is customizable the font the color whatever you want you can completely customize it they really encourage you to make it your own so it's so cute for hers i wanted to go with just a really simple, cute, pink, like, girly um, vibe. And then I have the cute bows on it. And then it comes with little teddy bears. Um, and then I have this teddy bear right here on the, the travel bag. So we have on the travel bag, the name is on every single one of her items, which is so cute. The diaper bag has it down below also. And then the document holder. And the names, I'll put the names of each one of these items. There's one in the background. <laughs> of each one of these items in the description box and what the names are, the colors, everything like that. So here is just a quick close up of everything. It says Gianna, Gianna, document holder. So just to open it up. And right now it just has her insur my insurance cards and then um, her social security because it had already came. So I will go through everything and what I have in there. First thing I am going to go over is Gianna's diaper bag. So before I went to the hospital, I had random stuff. So now having the baby, I put exactly what I used in the bag. Um, so I overpacked, I didn't pack certain stuff. So now that I've had the baby, I was in the hospital, I know exactly what she needed and what I didn't need to bring, you know, to save you guys a trip. Because Vante, when he came, he had, like, a cart loaded with bags and everything. And some stuff I didn't use at all and some stuff I needed more of. So it was just um, figuring it all out. So first I'm going to start with what was in the diaper bag. This cute little diaper bag. So the first thing I have in her little pockets... I have a long phone charger because you need this because the hospital beds are so far back that you want to be able to charge your phone and hold it. So that's in her bag. I have a hand sanitizer in her diaper bag so that no matter what, we stay clean. And then I also brought like four different types of binkies. So she, if she didn't like a certain one, she had other options. This came in handy because she just kind of learned from the beginning 
you know, a binky, which for us, we are totally fine with her using a binky. So we had a lot of different options for her. It's funny because she likes the cheapest one the best out of all of the expensive binkies. This little little bear that I put in her little nursery bassinet and it just plays like a heartbeat so it kind of soothed her at night some nights it worked some nights it didn't we were actually there a total of three nights three nights just because she was a little early so they wanted to make sure that everything was good and she was get this binky because one it just the bear helps it like stay in her mouth what is this? A giraffe, I mean. And this is just the binky that she loves. So I kept I keep that in her diaper bag now. The next items that I have is three little burp cloths because they're too small to wear a bib. So you just want a burp cloth so that when you're nursing or anything like that, you have it. Next, I just packed her car seat cover because when you're leaving the hospital, you want her covered just because you're in the hospital the next item came in handy once I figured out how the heck to use it so I have a little swaddle for her and she loved being swaddled when she was a newborn so these ones are really really cool it's like you put you'll put her feet you'll put her feet in right here and these ones are called Ziggy baby so you'll put her feet right here you'll wrap one side and wrap the other and then she swaddled so I really like these she still uses these now but um, these are really good so I would make sure to bring a swaddle and then the last thing for the diaper bag I kept it out but this, so I put her outfits I had a certain amount of outfits so I made sure I knew she was gonna be tiny so I planned for a tiny baby but it was still not big enough so I have two little pajamas that I brought which these are the zipper ones and I suggest the zipper ones because you're changing her so much in the beginning like so much so I got two zipper ones and these were newborn so they were a little big but they worked and then I liked these because they had the mitts so if you don't have mitts which I have bring mitts or little onesies that have the mitts because she scratched the life out of her face for the first couple weeks like crazy so a couple weeks couple days she's only a couple weeks old um i also brought just two little plain onesies so that you know during the day you're changing her a lot so the nurses don't have to um take off like an entire outfit and then remember to bring your going home outfit so i actually have a matching piece but this was her going home outfit so i brought that i brought her a little pair of socks and I brought her three different bow choices so she could figure out what outfit she wanted to bring and wear for her um, first day out of the womb. The next bag that I have is my hospital bag. So my sister fortunately helped me a ton with this so I kind of had what I needed. Like I didn't bring crazy amount. So and this bag we're gonna use this for everything when we travel all of that because it's just so convenient and the size is so 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 big and of course my makeup bag I honestly didn't even use it but I'm happy I had it in case I wanted to put makeup on so moms if you have it in you to put on makeup right before you push a baby out more power to you because I couldn't the next thing I brought were these pajamas it's just a two-piece two-piece Victoria's Secret jammy set just super comfy it's loose it's buttoned so I can just easily breastfeed if I needed to lounge pants you honestly want to wear dark because you did just have a baby so you're you know you could you could spot bleed anything like that you just want to be comfy and um, I also just brought two regular t-shirts just comfy sleep t-shirt my own towel because I just liked my, I just wanted to bring my own towel. Um, it just came in handy. I just like my own stuff. Just, it, it just made me feel so, so, so good was I brought my own hospital gown and I felt so cute. I bought it on Amazon and literally it just fit so much better. My butt wasn't hanging out like regular hospital gowns. Um, it was just super comfy. So I brought that just to make myself 
feel a little bit cuter. And then I got these that I brought. And they're so cute. I'm going to insert a picture of me wearing uh, my hospital gown with this. And they're just these little socks. They're no grip. I mean, grip socks. And it says, um, I'm going to be a mommy today. So they're just so cute. I just They just made like me smile because I have little pictures of that now. want to bring a ton of underwear, but also they provide like these um, these mesh panties. And honestly, I wore those the first couple days because it was just easier you want. But they provide that, you guys. So you really do not need to go out and buy mesh panties. You don't need to go buy pads, which I brought my own. But I just used theirs because, you know, theirs worked for a reason. And, you know, you might as well just save the extra trip, save the money because they provide pads. You know, they'll give you them all day, every day. So I just brought myself a few pair of underwear and not like cute, you know, thongs. Like I got full on, like hold me in panties and they felt good. You don't want something shoved up your hoo-ha. Then I have my going home outfit, which is I just brought these black joggers. They're just black little sweats. I, I brought Lululemon leggings too, but I wanted to be in something loose. Um, so that's why I brought that. So I have these. I also have these nursing tank tops that I brought and they were a lifesaver because all I had to do was flick the strap and it just fall down and I wear it and it's so comfy so that's what I brought and then here's my matching piece to her um, going home outfit so pretty much for the for for the women they provided so much stuff that I bought that I that everyone told me I didn't need to buy because they provide it and I brought it so really what I would focus on is bringing yourself your comfy clothes making sure you have all all you know you want your own towel we also I don't have it with me but um, you know I brought my own pillow I brought our own just like warm fuzzy blanket because it came in handy you guys know how um, how cold hospitals are so make sure to bring that also make sure to pack for dad because they need they need clothes last thing i brought was this boppy nursing pillow i highly recommend you bring it because it's so easy when the baby's there to just wrap it and hold the baby and nurse that came in handy i also have my slippers you want your own slippers because the hospital it's cold and I don't like socks, so I just put on my slippers, walk around, go to the bathroom. You don't want to get Ebola on your toes. Um, another thing that I have is all my toiletries. I didn't go get um, like a whole bunch of stuff. I just kind of brought a lot from what I had at home. So in here I have, you know, I have pads that I had brought. I have my shampoo, conditioner, my face moisturizer, toothbrush, toothpaste hairbrush i have dry shampoo face wipes bring face wipes because it feels so good to just be able to wipe your face so i have all of that in here and they fit in these tote bags so stinking perfect and then the last one i have is this last tote bag and i actually use it for um it has like her her birth like her birth papers, her little wristband, her um, admissions band. Like I wanted to keep all that and I was like, this is literally perfect to put every single thing in. So that is my what's in my hospital and um, diaper bag. And I wanna mention again with these bags, you guys, they can be used for so many purposes. So it's a hospital bag, it's a travel bag, it's an overnight bag, it's, it has a big strap and then the two side ones. It's a cute, like, fashionable bag. Like, I love it. If we, Vontae's family lives in Arkansas, and I know that we're going to bring it for sure because I feel like it's super cute and bougie and it's so fun. And then the diaper bag, you know, also works. I keep my wallet in here and I take it with me. It works as a diaper bag, a backpack, a purse, a gym bag, a travel bag, anything like that. They're so big. Same with these totes. If you have a, you know, if you're traveling, you could use one for your toiletries, one for just like if she has special outfits or something, and then I have her document one. 
and then you know this document holder is so amazing because i literally can just keep everything in here i put the document holder in her closet so that i know where everything is and it just all has come in handy so much so i just want to give a special shout out and thank you to baby lux company the all of the all of the bags and products are amazing they're beautiful it was exactly how we talked about it it was it was absolutely beautiful and gianna is so fortunate to have such cute diaper and hospital bags like name a cuter baby i'll wait so thank you so much for sponsoring this video thank you for sending us all of these goodies and we appreciate it so much so everybody make sure to shop baby lux company follow them on instagram you can use code julie 15 to save money and i will link all of the items below in the description box i'll link their instagram and stay tuned i'll talk to you guys later bye